All right, what is up? So today we have a fun one, in my opinion. Uh, it's a very fun one, actually. So uh, today I get to, hopefully, this is the goal today. These are the two goals for the day. I want to match my meat PR slash mock meat PR for a double at RP8, which would be insane. And I want to match my bench mock meat PR for a double at RP8. So if I can get what I hit in my mock meet five weeks ago for doubles at RP8, my numbers are fucking crazy. Like, my numbers are insane. Like, my numbers are way, 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 way better than I thought. If I can't do that, it's okay. As long as I can... Obviously, no matter what I do today, it's going to be PR because it's RP8 and everything's been a PR every week before this, to be honest. Um, but this could be like a new one rep max PR for two at eight, which means I can get it for four, which means my one rep max in my comp five weeks ago is now my four rep max. So that'd be disgusting, honestly. If I can do that for bench, squat and bench, I will be insanely happy. Now, the only reason that might actually be true for squat, because obviously that's bullshit in general. Like, that's not, I mean, I, I wish that was real, but in five weeks, it's almost impossible to make your one rep max as a four rep max, unless you're beginning. Um, in theory, for squat, it's because I have injuries now, and I didn't have injuries when I did that. So that honestly should give me a good little boost, and it should be enough to hopefully let me hit my comp at double for eight. Like, that's just how good injuries are, in my opinion. Maybe it's more mental than anything, but I think they actually help, like, an absolute shit ton. So that could help a bunch. Um, and also for bench, I've just keep changing my form, right? So once I find the form that I locked in, which I'm pretty locked in now, I line up my calves, the thing, like my feet are planted out, heels are on the ground, ass is on the, on the bench, arch is good, power is good, widths to my ring, finger. Everything is like solid right now on bench. Um, so it's just like refining form on both things and then also my squat form has improved since then as well ah, okay like my squat form has improved since then as well obviously um so including the form and the insers and all that at this point i should be able to do it and i'm looking forward to it and it's like sticking to the program too it's not even breaking program in fact i'm actually working out with my coach today so um, I don't know how the filming in the gym is going to work because I'll, I'll probably try to be mic'd up like the whole time and just like see if my coach talks. So I can just like either include his talk or just like maybe cut it so there may be a lot more cuts in this video or a lot less. Honestly, I don't even know. But all I know is today is the first time I'm ever doing like a one on one with my coach just so we can like watch my form and like while I get super heavy weight for me, like to see if I keep my form and all that stuff. Like he's finally doing that with me. Um, so. I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it a lot. It is 11.15 um, on a Friday, and I had a party last night. So maybe not optimal conditions before PR, but I got a good enough amount of rest, and um, I think I'm okay. So I'm looking forward to it for real. <sighs> uh, other thing, um, I don't even have headphones to this workout because somebody stole. Okay, this is hard to explain. I was taking a test in our testing center and you have to put your stuff in a locker in the testing center. So put my stuff in a locker. I come back. My AirPod case is different, but my AirPods themselves are still in there. So somebody went in my locker, changed out the case and gave me back my AirPods. So the case that I received from them, doesn't really work. It doesn't charge the right AirPod at all. The left AirPod's glitchy and it hardly charges in general. There's nothing on the sides. There's no pair button, all this stuff. So I can't really use it at all. Um, so I might not have headphones for this workout because I think my right AirPod is dead due to it not being able to charge. Um, and I don't know if it's been in time to charge them like my replacement thing that I got. So we'll see. But yeah, I know it's my case because I have an engraving on it. So I know that it wasn't my case because I literally have an engraving on my case and it's like looks like it's brand new. So uh, thank you for whoever did that. Really appreciate you destroying my weekend um, 
with uh, destroying my week actually with the AirPod situation. But it's whatever. You know, people are desperate for whatever reason. Not going to get into it right now. But yeah, so I might not have headphones in this workout, which kind of sucks for me. Um, but I will have flexible wraps because my flexible wrap finally came. Um, they were supposed to come like in two days and they ended up coming early. So I didn't think I was going to have them for this session. So I'm really happy I actually do because I feel like for bench especially, it's really helpful. And I can low-key wear them for squat now because I have flexible. At least I'm not like want to wear stiffs for squat. And I've never worn wrist wraps for squat. But I'm going to try to wear wrist wraps just because everybody does. And I feel like it low-key could help my elbow a little bit. So we'll see. Um, maybe I'll warm up with them. And if I don't like them, then I won't wear them. But we'll see. But yeah. Um, looking forward to the lift. PRs should be coming. After the squat and bench, we have uh, like leg press and then dips and then push downs. So probably won't be the most insane pump in the world either. But it's all about PRs today. And that's all that really matters. Keeping the form good. Getting PRs. Matching my comp with a lower RP for two reps. So, honestly, if either of those happen, I'll be really happy. If both of them happen, I'll be really, really happy. And if neither of them happen, as long as I set a PR, I don't really care. I'll still be happy. So, either way, I should be happy. Uh, we'll see. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can talk about? I'm trying to figure out. I want these car talks to be, like, around seven and a half minutes. I don't really know how long we are because I can't look at my phone. But, um, oh, we're, okay, we're actually, like, right at that mark. But no, there was one thing I, else I wanted to say. I'm trying to think. I don't know. If I think about it, I'll turn the camera back on. But for now, I'll see you guys in the gym. <laughs> Watch that descent a little bit more. Take your time.
there it is, rack. Very good. Bro, three, two, one. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got two, you got two. Yes, sir. I'm on. For the win, for the win. Give it all, give it all, give it, give it, give it. Yeah. Thank you. I have four sets of that though. Damn. All right, so let's do a quick overview because obviously I didn't have the mic on for most of that. Um, squats, that was fucking crazy. I just hit a one rep max, a two and a half kilo one rep max for two at like eight, eight and a half. Bench was also crazy. Obviously my second rep doesn't really count, but either way, that is two and a half kilos more than I hit in comp. And my mock meet moved way better, and the second rep was awful. Obviously, I don't know why, but whatever. Now we got three more sets of back downs. Obviously, they're moving hard, but we figured out reps on bench for me is just hard. My singles move well. Uh, yeah, we're going to finish this shit up. Got some bench and then some accessories, but I need this shit to move. I got three more sets of six. My squats move really well. Um, Still, massive, P massive PR on both. I don't know why my second rep on bench is so hard. Like, this is because my arms are long. Like, me and my coach talked, and we're like... I'm going to get singles a lot faster now because my doubles are not like you see how hard the second rep was and how easy the first rep was. It doesn't make any sense. But either way, that was one rep max for squat and bench. So happily take it. Uh, my bench was at like a nine and a half. It doesn't even count because it dropped second rep, but first rep was like a seven. So I don't really know. We'll see. Um, everything moved decently well though. So I just got three more sets of this. The flexibles feel crazy good. And uh, yeah, we're going to just finish up this workout. What do you think that, that was?
Um, that was a grind and a half for bench. Definitely very, very hard. Um, but we got it done. I got 315 on here. Uh, hopefully two sets of 10 at 8. We'll see how it moves. Holy shit. Alright. That was a good aid actually. That's perfect. The PR.
Okay. Let's let's talk about that session real quick. So first off, uh, that was three and a half hours. I know you guys probably don't know that or can't see it, but that was a three and a half hour session. Um, so holy shit, I was there for a long time. Two, squat is fucking goated. My squat is so much better than it was. So basically, I can just explain a little bit more in depth now. Um, so my squat, that was a two and a half kilogram PR that I've ever hit in my life. And I hit it for two at RP eight, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower. My coach thinks eight was probably like right on the money. I was like, okay, bet. Well, that is insane. That is a two and a half kilo PR for double the amount of reps at an RP of eight, meaning I could have got four. That is crazy. That means my squat is amazing. Like my squat is really high compared to what I thought it was, which is good. Now, my bench, on the other hand, is a little iffy. So, during my mock meet, I believe I I hit what I did today. I may have hit 100 exactly. I, don't think, I think I did 100 because I want my second attempt to be 105. So, or my third attempt to be 105. So, I think I did 100. So, I hit 100 in my mock meet. And, obviously, like, the whole thing with the command happened. So, it wasn't the cleanest. Like, I'm not, whatever. Like, yeah, I understand that there's other circumstances. So, my bench was not that good that day. But, whatever. So I hit 100 that mock me that today I hit 102.5, which would tie my PR in the gym, not like during me, but tie my gym PR. But I hit it for two. Sort of. <laughs> um, so the second rep, it didn't like I don't really know what happened because it didn't feel heavier. It felt the exact same. But you see, I grinded my heart out and it went back down on the left side. So it doesn't actually count as a rep either, which sucks for me because like I grinded my heart out for basically no reason. Um, but like, I just, I don't understand what is going on here. Oh no. Oh no. What is happening? Why are we not moving? Well, okay. I need to go straight. So what is going on now? Why is nobody moving? I'm so confused. Okay. I don't know what's happening, but somebody's being a retard. Um, cool. Love that. Nobody's moving for literally no reason. That's great. Um, anyway, either way, uh, point is my bench is weird. So I hit that one or 2.5. Like the first rep was like a seven, like that ties my PR and it was like a seven, but the second rep was like a nine and a half. Like, I don't get it. Like, so we kind of figured out me and my coach talked and we we're like, listen, clearly you don't do good with doubles. I don't know why. I guess just because my arms are that long, which I guess does make sense because, like, keeping that consistent is very hard when you, like, have such a range of motion, like, every rep. So that, I guess, does make sense. Um, so we pretty much talked and we're like, all right, so from eight weeks out for your meet, I'm giving you singles because clearly you do better with singles, and I agree. So that means, like, very soon it will be actual singles. It won't be doubles anymore, so I can actually get used to bigger numbers because, like, my doubles, like you see, like I, that, I can't do that again next week. Like if I had to go up, because that'd be a 10, like this week was supposed to be an eight and it was definitely way over an eight. It was probably a nine and a half on the second rep. Like I don't like, I could have maybe put a little bit more weight on and still got it, but like it didn't even count. So I don't know, but my first rep was clean. So in theory, I'm a lot stronger because I hit my first rep at a seven and last time I hit it at a 10, but my second rep was the same. So my bench still went up a lot but not as much as I think, or my singles are just a lot better than my doubles, which means my bench actually is going up a lot, but I don't know how to calculate it. It's really hard. Um, but either way, the reason the title says possible thousand pound club is because if I do my calculations, right, like based on estimators or whatever, that squat was 308. I hit it for a double at eight, which means it was, which means like RP, it'd be considered like hitting a single at seven, I guess that's how it works. So I believe I put into a calculator, I hit that single at seven. I can squat at least 335 and I'm going to assume closer to 350 because that shit moved and I apparently can grind squat, which I didn't know I could because I never been able to grind squat before. I always bailed and now I can grind it apparently. So let's just say my squat is 350, which is maybe a little higher than it is, but you know what, whatever. For the benefit of my doubt, I'll get a 350. If my bench today was, was uh, that was 225, uh, 225 moved at a seven. I'm only counting singles, obviously. 
That should mean I should be able to bench around 245, 250, which makes sense because I've hit 250 before. It was awful, but it was not, it didn't count as a gym PR because it's not real. My ass wasn't on the bench or but it has been on the bar before and it has gone up. So if I can squat 350, bench 250, that means I just have to be able to deadlift 400 pounds. And I'm pretty sure I can deadlift more than 405. I was calculating my old PR at 405, and I think I can get it more than 405. Because my deadlift has been going up, and since my meet, and at my meet, my mock meet, I had more in the tank. And that was like 375, and I, I think I had at least another 20 pounds, maybe, even if we say 10. Since then, I've hit bigger numbers for doubles at 6 and 5, and tomorrow I have it at 7, and it honestly might be a PR. Not a one rep PR, because deadlift's a little different, but it should be like pretty close to like, I think like 360, maybe even higher. I got to look, I don't know, but it's going to be a lot of weight for a double. It's gonna definitely going to be a PR double for sure. Might even break my single, which would be kind of crazy for a double at seven, not even an eight. So if that's true, I can definitely deadlift four or five, which means your boy is in the thousand pound club. Uh, I'm in the thousand pound club at 175 pounds, which isn't that impressive. But for me, that's crazy. Because I was like, damn, I'm not going to 1,000 pound club for like years. And if I'm at it three weeks, four weeks after my mock meet, I will happily, happily, happily take that. So when I go to singles, 1,000 pounds should be coming. That meet, my goals are going to be crazy for the meet because my numbers are still flying. Until my numbers stop flying, my meet goals are going to be so high. Like I'd want to fail my meet goals just because I want to set the bar so high that I can't do it. Like, obviously, it's not true, but, like, I want to set the bar really high. Like, I want to be able to hit. I want to get there. Like, I want to have a goal so that even if I fail it, that means I can train towards another goal. So, I'm going to probably – I'm going to put it on here on video now to see how accurate it is for my meet, which is in January, which is 10 weeks away at this point. I'm going to say during the meet, I want to hit oh, – fuck, it's hard because, like, if my bench is 245 – if my bench is 250 – I've never hit above 225 in comp, like in comp, in a comp setting. I've never hit above 220. So if my bench is 250, I got to like set the goal higher than that. All right. We're going to be, the bench goal is gonna, like, I'm the most confident in my bench, even though it's been the worst on my list. It's kind of funny. I'm going to say, I want to hit 275 at, at my meet. So, I'll, okay. So I want to bench 275. I want to squat 385. I want to deadlift. I want to deadlift four fifty five. Four fifty five. So that in pounds is impressive to me, because that would mean I'm squatting three plates and a twenty five. On bench, I'm benching two plates and a twenty five, and on deadlift, I'm bench. I'm deadlifting four plates and a twenty five. I can hit that shit. I'll be so happy. What is that total? Four fifty five plus. 385, okay, let's do the, well, 385 plus uh, 285 is 670, and then 670 plus 455 is 1120? I could be doing my math wrong, but it's something around that. It's over 1,100 pounds. If I can get my total from 405 kilo to 1,100 pounds, that would be my total went up, like, Almost a hundred kilo. That's the goal. That's see. That's let's make that the goal. Five hundred kilo. The five hundred kilo meat is the goal. Maybe that's higher. Maybe that's all. I don't even know. Five hundred kilo at the meat. That's the goal. Five hundred kilo at eighty three and a half kg. I'll be so happy with that. And then I get to move up in weight class and everything. I'll be so so happy with that. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But that's the goal. Five hundred kilo. We're in the thousand pound club now. Guesstimating. 500 kilo. I want to be the 500 kilo club at the end of my next meet. I will be so happy if I can do that. And that that's the goal right now. We're setting that as the goal right now. Set in stone. I got 10 weeks to put 95 pounds in my total. Sorry. I lied. I have 10 weeks to put 95 kilos on my meat total, which was four weeks ago. So basically... 14 weeks in total, I believe. 14 weeks to put 100 kilos on my total. That is 220 pounds on my total in 14 weeks. If I can do that, holy shit. Um, the exponential is crazy. My growth could be crazy if I do that. That's the goal. We're going to get to there. 
you guys are going to come with me and do it. You're going to watch it. It's going to happen. It was a good session, really long session. Like press, I estimate RP, I feel like perfectly. That was a perfect eight. Uh, dips, also probably perfect eight, maybe a little under for dips, low key. And then push down is the first set I did 12, and then I went up to 150, and I think the 10 was perfect on each of those. So I didn't post today. I uh, didn't really have a bump, and I'm exhausted. So just wanted to get home. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, 500 kilos coming soon.